even when you have a rash and you oh and you're scratching it and it feels so sweet you're like oh scratching that you don't fall do into that. skincare if you want bright skin hard to skin going skin you're in the right channel so hit that like subscribe and notification bell and let's get right into this video yeah okay so a couple of weeks ago a few of my people slid into my dms and asked me a few questions about eczema so today we're going to talk about eczema and how you can control triggers and different treatments so a lot of you have probably heard about eczema but let's just do a little quick overview so eczema is a skin condition that causes your skin to be itchy, sore, dry, cracked, red in different areas, okay? There are usually periods where the symptoms improve, but these are usually followed up by flare-ups, right? So flare-ups can occur about two to three times a month. Eczema can occur all over the body, but they usually come in around the hands, so usually the fingers and inside your elbows and behind your knees and sometimes scalp and children as well. Okay, so the severity of eczema can vary from person to person. Usually people with mild eczema only have small patches of dry skin that are itchy here and there, you know. In more severe cases, eczema can cause widespread red inflamed skin areas all over the body. This also causes constant itching. Ooh. Okay, so it's important to know that eczema is a chronic skin condition. That means you have to control the flubs as they happen and it is possible to better control the frequency of the condition. Possible to control the frequency of the outbreaks as well. And that's what we're going to cover today, right? Cover a few tips that are really helpful to help you control the frequency of eczema and also flare-ups as well in your skin. Number one, moisturize your skin. Right. To help prevent outbreaks, make sure your skin is properly moisturized, even when not irritated. So after a shower, apply your moisturizer on and whenever you feel the need. And also a tip that I have is for a deeper feeling of relief, keep your moisturizer in the refrigerator. I have been in the fridge for my skincare products. I love when my moisturizer is applied cold. It feels so great and so relieving and, and so wonderful. Okay? Number two, reduce factors that trigger outbreaks, right? Outbreaks can be triggered by different factors such as pollen, food, pets, dust, mold, certain things. So be aware of your surrounding and be aware of things that trigger your outbreaks. If you can identify these factors that trigger your outbreak, this can help you delay the next outbreak that you may have. Number three, now, I know you guys are gonna hate me for this one, but take short showers or baths using lukewarm water. Stop using hot water for your shower or your baths. Okay. I would tell so many people this through DMs. They're like, but I love a hot shower. No, not for your hexam or outbreaks or your flare-ups. You can't take a hot shower. You have to use lukewarm water to help you control your next outbreak, help you control your flare-ups as well. <laughs> Reduce the duration of your shower, your bath, and use lukewarm water to help control your flare-ups right, and outbreaks as well. And also don't forget to moisturize right after your shower. Also it's super important to use a hypoallergenic or non-fragrant soap or shower gel when you're taking a shower or a bath, okay? Number four, use a humidifier, right? <laughs> All humidity levels can actually trigger an eczema outbreak. So if your room is really dry, especially during the winter months, I highly recommend you get a humidifier for your bedroom while you go to bed. Number five, avoid scratching your skin. I know sometimes when you have an outbreak, even when you have a rash and, it, oh, and you're scratching it and it feels so sweet, you're like, oh, scratching that. Don't do that, avoid as much. I know it's such a hard tip, but avoid scratching your outbreaks to your flow. So avoid scratching as much as possible because scratching can actually damage your skin. So what you can do instead, you could pat the area instead of scratching it, okay? If you're very gentle, guys. Number six, this is a really important one, all right? Choose your body and face your skincare products very carefully. I recommend the skincare routine for someone who is so someone who has eczema prone skin and she's loving it she's loving the routine so far her skin is hydrated it's moisturized and her flare-ups is not as much as before so what I actually came across that her facial cleanser contains fragrance which is what she was using and that is a big no-no so a lot of cosmetic hair products skincare products makeup and so many different things out there that you use in your skin or your face actually contain ingredients that actually have irritants in them and can actually trigger your eczema outbreaks as well so what I would advise is after this video, go back and look at your cosmetic products, your hair products, skincare products, anything. Number seven, five, six, seven, okay? Keep cool, you have to keep cool, okay? This also comes back to the other point about not taking hot showers. Excessive heat and perspiration can cause eczema outbreaks, so it's super important to keep your home cool and your bedroom cool as well. So don't overheat your home and don't overheat your bedroom. So I recommend you keeping your bedroom cool at night and using fresh light cotton sheets as well. And guys, those are all my tips to help you control your ex eczema flare-ups and your eczema outbreaks. I hope that you find those really useful. I hope you stop taking hot showers. And thanks guys. Thank you.